Greetings, one and all. Well, you all have asked for him, and I decided it was finally time to put more of him on the channel. So today we are watching a Chuck Norris movie that I actually remember watching this a long time ago. And for some reason, I did not remember it being nearly as violent as it actually is. Uh, with a body count of 129, we are watching the 1985 movie Invasion USA. Well, let's go marvel over Chuck Norris's beard, because this is Red Eye Reviews. So first things first, it's a canon films movie. That's right, our favorite movie company coming out hot with another incredible addition to my collection. This movie was also MGM's second highest selling home video title behind the 1939 movie Gone with the Wind, which it's that's such a bizarre fact. I never really thought I'd put this movie in the same sentence as Gone with the Wind, but I just did. And there you go. We start with a boat full of Cuban refugees. I also I hate to be critical. In a situation like this, because I know you're all in a bad spot, but you could probably go a little bit faster if you use that big old tall, you know, sail looking thing right right there. Uh, but they run into a boat that looks like the U.S. Coast Guard, but they're they're pretty grumpy. They're a little grumpier than I would like my Coast Guard to be. I think he thinks he's in a Rambo remake. He toned down the Stallone a little bit. But no, they they are not good guys. Yeah, they murder everybody on board. Jesus Christ, this movie is starting intensely. How many minutes? Five minutes in. Holy hell. Okay. They then find a ton of cocaine on the boat. So I, I don't know what that means. Is that, does that make these good guys? Were, were they good guys? I don't know. I don't think we, we know how to feel now, do we? But we cut over to Chuck Mother Flippin' Norris. He's on a fan boat. His chest is out. God damn, you are a sexy beast. Little chest hair is blowing casually in the wind. Probably smells like gasoline. I got it, yeah, I got it. Got his mouth, okay. Right. Are you sure this is what your granddaddy used to do it? <laughs> and he wrestles a crocodile <laughs> right off the bat. Is there anything you won't do, you hairy little stallion? But we take a look at the bad guys more. We learn that the leader is named Rustov, and he's fucking brutal. But before we show how brutal he is, look at this guy. I mean, right? What is, what's going on here? Sir, I, I think it is time to admit you put on a little bit of baby weight, and that, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but those clothes, they look a smidge too tight. Then the Rustov guy pretends to sell this cocaine, and then YOLO murders these two people. Ta -da! It's, it's gone. Then he shoots this dude in the balls. That's a bad way to go. And then doubles down and throws her out the window. Wow, this is uh, not uh, what we are used to on this channel oh my god where's our sexy little gorilla norris when you need him please get here fast fried steam barbecue god i'm sick of frogs oh there he is yeah making tough decisions on what to eat for dinner we then see later that night some sketchy businessman in a boat shows up probably another bad guy if i had to guess what are you gonna what are you gonna do you gonna kill the frogs you're gonna shoot the crocodile in the private bits What's your super villain power? Uh, but no, he's not a super villain. Uh, he's actually CIA, and he asks Chuck to come out of retirement to fight that maniac Rustov. We cut over to the bad guy who just had a nightmare about Chuck Norris killing him. So maybe uh, some foreshadowing there. He wakes up so scared, he's breathing like an inbred pug. My God, man, go to the doctor. But he doesn't. He instead decides it's time to go kill Chuck because he doesn't want him getting in the way of his evil plans. So they take an army of airboats, which there's a uh, there's something there's something about this image that just does not intimidate me at all. I feel like it's like Bobby Boucher and his friends or something. 
but they do show up. They start absolutely obliterating Chuck's house. This dude has typed in a goddamn cheat code for life because he fires his rocket launcher three times without reloading the damn thing. So magical stuff there. Uh, Chuck does survive, you know, because he's, well, because he's Chuck Norris. I mean, the man eats bullets for breakfast. Also, his pet armadillo survives, which I know this is the first time you are hearing that he has a pet armadillo, uh, but there you go. Yeah, he's alive too, and he is adorable. Sometime later, we see a couple swimming at night, which has never gone right in the history of cinema. No one swimming at night in the ocean has ever survived. I would like to point that out. So without a doubt, you guys are going to get eaten by a shark or something bad's going to happen. Yeah, or you just get straight murdered. I, I'll admit, I did not see you dying this exact way. But I was pretty positive the two of you weren't going to make it out of this scene. But we see now hundreds of gorillas landing on the beach. And gorillas are dangerous in these parts. There are no gorillas. Not here. Oh, yeah, there is, boss. Gorillas are native to equatorial Africa. But these dudes run into the beach, which but I don't know why you need to run. I really don't think anybody knows you're here. There's nobody on this beach. But their plan is to sneak into some trucks and have those trucks drive them into Miami so they can attack Florida because Florida apparently does not have enough problems without a makeshift army messing shit up. We cut to some suburban neighborhood, and our evil guy is looking to start some shit. Also, I realized why he looks so familiar. Yeah, he's a shitty version of Max Shrek from Batman Returns. Yeah, turns out this is a Batman movie, guys. So Christopher Walken starts murdering everybody in this place. Dude, settle the death and destruction down, sir. Uh, firstly, all you bad guys are using cheat codes. But how many times did you fire that? You've never reloaded that rocket launcher once. Do you even know it takes ammo? Secondly, uh, they actually blew up a real residential neighborhood for this movie. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, this neighborhood was slated for demolition due to expansion of the Hartfields Airport runway. So the Atlanta Firm Commission gave the Cannon Films Group permission to blow up a neighborhood. And this area is currently now the site of the Georgia International Convention Center in College Park. So little fun fact there. But this is the start of pure chaos because these dudes are uh, they're everywhere. They're dressed like police. They start just shooting innocent people like cops. They're driving the public into a frenzy. They're setting shops on fire. It's mayhem. Or if you weren't watching a movie, it's, it just looks like Philadelphia. Oh, shots fired. At one point, they go to this mall and they try to set a package bomb off, but it's Christmas and people are in the giving mood. So this goddamn good Samaritan just like has to return this package to this man. Hey, mister. Hey, you forgot your package, mister. Hey, buddy, your packages. Leave me alone. It's a jacket, though. My God, he's at like an all-out sprint trying to get that back. Good guy, good guy. I'm going to throw this jacket in the water. Oh, nice. That's really nice. But shit hits the fan. During the madness, Chuck just shows up. He knows what's going on, I guess. He pulls a Blues Brothers, drives his truck right into the mall. And fun fact... If you're looking at that guy going, wow, his stunt double looks like Chuck Norris, that's because it is Chuck Norris. Yeah, he did almost all of his own stunts in this movie. So holy hell, you are impressive because that shit really looks dangerous. He chases these bad guys out of the mall. He chases them down. This reporter girl, who I haven't even told you about her, but she's she's here. She's a reporter. That's that's pretty much it. Helps him. They rescue this innocent bystander. They kill some bad guys. Things seem to be going okay. What's Rustov doing? <laughs> He's just shooting more dudes in the dick. Come on, man. Do you, you have like some personal issues around this topic. I got a little dick. It's pathetic. And finally, after all of that, the National Guard has decided to show up. So the town decides now it is not safe for their children here anymore, which it, it took you long enough, but uh, sure. 
they put their kids on a school bus. No, 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 no. You don't sing this song. Dude. Have you seen A Nightmare on Elm Street? This is the kind of shit that gets you killed. And yeah, see, the bad guys hate the song as much as the rest of us, so they try to bomb the children. Barely, 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 life is but a dream. Which, I mean, if they keep singing this song, like, they're, they're, they're kind of asking for it, so I don't know. But Chuck shows up out of the blue again, as if he just has, like, a radar for bad guys. All right, you know what? Do it. <laughs> Do it. Stop singing this song or he won't save your lives. But yeah, Chuck's a good guy. He saves their lives anyways, but because he's like a vigilante justice man, the military comes after him and they're like, bro, we still got to arrest you. You're like not a cop or anything. So you can't really do this. Oh, but before they arrest him back up two seconds, he does this. You dick. Why? Why would you do this? Good guys don't act like this, sir. You, you just, you nasty. So they arrest Chuck. They take him to their main National Guard headquarters. Uh, they unbutton his shirt a little bit because, well, because you know, gotta gotta look good out there, pal. Rustov's boys go to steal some trucks and break into this business here. Oh my God! I hope that was a dummy. I think I hope it was. Well, well, that might that might be a guy. I don't know if that was a dummy or not. He got absolutely destroyed by that explosion. But they all go and they charge the main headquarters because they want to attack all the people. They mainly want to kill Chuck Norris and these guerrilla warfare guys. They're they're just excited to be here, really. Like, they're not even aiming. <laughs> they're, they're just shooting anything, everything. Walls, you know, floors, each other. Whatever they want to. It doesn't matter. And it's only after, like, ten minutes of doing all this do they go, wait, okay, uh, where where are all the, the people? Yeah, there's nobody in here. Took you long enough. Uh, turns out it was a trap. The National Guard shows up with, like, I don't know, 30,000 tanks. All the tanks. And the shit has collectively hit the fan. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. No lie. The, it's like every bullet in the world is being fired right now. Or like a tenth of the bullets in Texas. Meanwhile, Chuck is inside playing cat and mouse with Rustov in the building. And because we like weapons and big explosions, the two of them are chasing each other with goddamn rocket launchers. <laughs> also, not even I am sure how I know this, uh, but I, I guess I do. I know that most rocket launchers have an arming distance, which means like they have to travel a little bit before they explode. And that's to, you know, like prevent the guy firing it from just literally killing himself every time he pushes the button. And I don't really think there's enough distance in these hallways to do anything with these launchers. Maybe they could beat each other over the heads with them. Sure. <laughs> you know, or not. Screw me, I guess. Okay. I'll just forget about that fact I learned. Deleted. Oh. So yeah, bad guy's dead. Uh, all the bad guys outside, well, the uh, ones that are still alive, all surrender. And then the movie, like, it just ends. It's <laughs> It just fades to black here. And that was awesome. Legit. Uh, Chuck Norris, welcome back to the channel, my dude. So let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. <laughs> You couldn't be any louder sneaking into this house. Before this movie, I forgot airboats existed. But now I kind of feel like it's the only thing I need to be buying right now. I'm putting all my stock into airboats. Can I put the star up this year? No, I'm putting it up. You put it up last year. Okay, I hate to be that guy, especially, you know, because this whole neighborhood's about to explode. Um, but the Christmas tree does go on the inside of the house. That's a quick FYI for your next home. What 
do you think you are, sir? You think you think you're a Terminator? <laughs> Wait, I take I didn't mean it. I didn't. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, everybody. If you come back in here, I'm gonna hit you with so many rights, you're gonna beg for a left. They told the citizens need to stay off the streets. I know, darling, it's dangerous, but we have to attend midnight mass or God will be angry with us. Our Father, who art in heaven. Oh, shit, they actually, <laughs> they actually went to church. I, I was just making a joke. We're going to have to limit to 12 items again. Quick, honey, grab all the toilet paper. Sorry, it's a gut reaction. Don't worry, Chuck. Nobody destroyed this place. This is just how all state fairs look. Well, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. You can like the video. Leave some comments. Let me know some other Chuck Norris movies you want to watch. Uh, how many uh, rockets does your rocket launcher hold? Is it a whole goddamn neighborhood's worth? And on that question, uh, I'm going to see you next time. And until that moment, stay happy and stay healthy.